Hello and welcome to your thoughts TV. Be inspired. Today in this video, we will talk about student loan in the UK, in the United Kingdom. Is it worth taking it? Yes or no? Just leave your, 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 your what you would like to do in the comments below. I will also sh uh, share some valuable tips at the end of the video. Be sure to watch to the end. Let's go. There are three things to consider to make informed decision whether to take student loan or not to take the student loan. And one of them, no, the first one is you will only start paying back when you start earning over £20,000 a year. I think it's been changed now to around 27,000, but when I when we did, it was um, at this price. However, I'm not sure if you would like anyone would like to go to university to earn less than 25k, which means it's highly likely that your loan repayment will kick in quite quickly, like my one did. So you know, being under the pretext that, you know, oh, I'm only going to start paying back when um, when I start earning over 25K, <laughs> it's, it's, you know, you, you're probably going to start earning 25K straight away if you go, to, if you go. So, I mean, no one wants to go to uni and come back and be earning less than, um, you know, people that didn't go to uni. So... Like that, I just want this to be very, very clear. Number two, um, there will be a loan write-off after 30 years. Now it's, I think now it's 40 years. When we did, it was 30 years. But then, with the high level of compounding interest charged on the loan, on the student loan, the amount paid could be equal to or greater than the principal before the write-off actually occurs. So what I'm saying is, you know, though there is the uh, provision for it to be written off, but then the interest rate on student loan is very high. Our one is in, in England, our one, uh, our cohort is plan two. And this year is on eight percent eight percent interest on the student loan that is very high and it's compounding compounding means if you had um one thousand and then they charge eight percent on the one thousand which is eighty eighty pounds next month you will be charged interest not on 1,000, but on 1,080. And it keeps compounding that way. So I just want it so that you, you're very clear about what you're doing. At least you know what you are doing. Number three, maintenance loan is not free cash. It's not free. You know? It's a good idea to borrow what you need and not what you want. What do I mean? If you take a part-time, if you could take a part-time job and borrow less, then go for it. You know, the thing is, the tuition is about 9000 when we went to uni. Now it's 9250 a year. And it goes straight to the university, but your account is debited accordingly. So you never see that one. That goes straight to the university. But the only one you have control over is the maintenance, the maintenance loan. You know, you could decide to take everything or take less depending on your circumstances. But don't treat it as a free cash. Only take what you need, not what you want. What I mean is you don't just take loan to buy, you know, stuff or that you don't really, really need. You know, if you if you get what I mean, so this is very very important for you know students to know before you uh, do what you uh, you intend to do. 
Uh, money saving expert did a great job in showing how student loan repayment works. And uh, shout out to them. And I think I would like us to have a look. And even today, as I was, um, as I was um, going through stuff, I, I bumped into a, a BBC uh, article. And it's a very interesting article. We'll have a look as well. So according to this work that was done by Money Saving Expert, shout out to them. They did a great job here. I will leave the link to this article in the description so you can have a look and read everything if you would like to read everything. So it says, what you will repay on Plan 5 student loan. If your salary is 24000 you don't pay. If your salary, that is after graduation, if your salary is 20, uh, £26,000, then um, they pay you, they charge you 9%. So assuming you borrowed 1000 which is highly unlikely because only the tuition is over nine grand. So, but this is just for, you know, for, to make it easy to understand. So if you borrowed a thousand pounds, then they are charging you 9%, which will now be 90 a year. If you borrowed 30, if you are earning 35,000 pounds a year and 9% um, of 10,000 is 900. If you are earning 50,000 pounds, 9% of 25,000, because there's a way the tax system, you don't really, you don't have much to do about this because the PAYE system works it out. So all you just see on your pace, that's what I see on my pace, if you just, they work everything out, they work it out and then you just see what has been taken and what is left for you. So, um, then it says here, if you are earning 100,000, then 9% of 75,000 75, is 6,750 um, pounds a year. It's quite a long uh, article, so I will leave the, the link on the description so you can uh, have a look if you would like to have a look. The, the, the one that really caught my eye was this article. I saw on uh, on the on BBC website. So it says I got a 44,000 student loan. Now I owe 54,000. How is that possible? So Adam borrowed 44,000 to go to university and has paid back seven according to the article 7,000 pounds since graduating 4 years ago. How much does he owe? The answer is 54,000. Yeah, so that's that's compound interest in action. Compound interest in action. So that's because, according to the article, I'm quoting from the article, that's because he is one of thousands of graduates in England and Wales who took out a type of student loan between 2012 and 2023 on which interest rates hit a record of nearly 8%. So this is my cohort. Adam is in my cohort. <laughs> um, earlier this year. So, so it's 8% on it and it's compounding. So even though he borrowed 44,000, he's already paid 7,000, but he's still owing 54,000. So I think, um, you know, if there's anything, that's, I'm just doing my little, what little I can do to make if there's anything that could be done to make this more transparent for our youngsters to actually have more understanding about some of these things, I think it will help for someone to make an informed decision because there are so many options um, that could be available for our youngsters. You know, university is wonderful. Going to uni, you know, it has helped me in my career. But then it's, it's worth, you know, making it very, very transparent so that everyone knows exactly what they are getting themselves into. 
So this is uh, the, the the article is is very long article, and I will you know if you Google it on uh, on uh, on on um, um, Google, I'm sure you will uh, you will find the article. So this uh, student loan is very very important. So I have few valuable tips that I have. Is number one as promised at the beginning of this video. Number one is maintenance loan is not free cash. So don't borrow to party or impress anyone. You know, just borrow what you really need. Number two, explore other options like grants, scholarship, parents and guidance support, living according to your means. And then possibly if you, if a possibility of, um, <clears throat> excuse me, taking a part-time job so you don't max out on the on the on the loan if possible but if not then you know it is what it is and um you know i believe that god will help you um in your studies in your journey in your career but the thing is just to know exactly um how it works so that you know what to to expect it's worth uh, mentioning also that um it doesn't student loan doesn't affect your credit uh, score it doesn't affect your um you know getting possibility of getting a mortgage as such but then on the affordability part of it because it, it will take out a chunk part of your salary and then that will you know obviously reduce your take home pay so you know we have to look at uh, look at all these things and then make informed decision. And uh, you know, I wish you the best in going to university, coming out with, you know, with the first the career that you want to face. But um, I just think it's worth, you know, um, sharing my own experience because I'm living it right now. Um, so that our youngsters that are going to uni, if we help one person, I'm, I will be so happy. Be sure to subscribe to the channel Tick the notification bell so you don't miss out on our wonderful videos that will save you a lot of money. <laughs> um, you know, joining, just subscribe to the channel. This is a community. Join this community. We're a growing community in our journey to financial freedom and making sure that we carry everyone along sharing. So if you have anything to share, leave it on the comments below um you know we are all in this journey together remember it's free to subscribe for you sharing this information you never know who it will benefit remember your thought is your wealth take advantage of it you can grab a copy of this wonderful book on amazon link on the description below mc jonas here thank you and god bless there's another related video that I will be showing um, at the top of the screen. I'm sure you will get value from it. See you there. Bye. Ciao, ciao.